Now for placental abruption. Now this presents like a nightmare. So this is a deadly condition where the placenta prematurely detaches from that uterine wall while the baby is still inside. So it's like ripping off a scab. There is either partial detachment, complete, or concealed. Either way, it results in the mother having severe pain and major bleeding in the uterus. The fetus suffers from deadly hypoxia, that low oxygen, as it now has no means of getting oxygen or nutrients. Now for the causes. These include trauma, so like a motor vehicle accident, fall or blunt force trauma, hypertension, stimulants, so like cocaine and smoking, as well as a history of previous abruption. Now moving on to signs and symptoms. And remember these you want to report to that HCP. The big one I wanna cover here is that dark red vaginal bleeding. This is a huge NCLEX tip, dark red vaginal bleeding. You'll also see some severe continuous abdominal pain, a rigid and tender uterus from all of that internal bleeding. This then leads to a decreased H&H and hypovolemic shock. Now for the baby, we will see an abnormal fetal heart rate pattern since the baby is now receiving no oxygen. We will also see uterine tachycystole. These are those excessive uterine contractions. They occur every one to two minutes and it feels like a big tight cramp and it actually could lead to fetal death. So Hesse mentions, which signs and symptoms are related to abruptio placentae? Select all that apply. So these would be abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding, and uterine tenderness. And ATI mentions abruptio placentae, the complications associated with this problem, this would be that hypovolemic shock. And now moving on to the interventions. There are four huge NCLEX tips here, so be sure to write these down. The first one is that we anticipate for an emergent C-section. Second, we want to apply that continuous external fetal monitoring. Third is that IV access and blood draw. We want to draw the blood for a type and screen because we're anticipating a blood transfusion. Lastly, we want to monitor for those signs of hypovolemic shock because there's all that blood loss. So we're looking for pallor, tachycardia, and hypotension. And Saunders NCLEX review mentions placental abruption is present. Which intervention should the nurse prepare for? And again, this would be that delivery of the fetus. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also feel free to share the love, share with a classmate and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.